The prosecution began its opening statements Tuesday morning with a never-before-seen photo of Jahar Sarnayev from a holding cell in 2013, raising his middle finger for the camera. Prosecutor Nadine Pellegrini described Sarnayev in the photo as uncensored, unrepentant, and unchanged. Prosecutors are driving home the argument that Jahar Sarnayev was a cold-hearted terrorist who killed four people and wounded hundreds of others. Prosecutors have already begun calling their witnesses, like survivor and now double amputee Celeste Corcoran, who described the pain she went through, saying, I unfortunately remember every single detail. The defense will portray Sarnayev's older brother Tamerlan as the mastermind of the 2013 bombing and argue that their client's life should be spared because he was under Tamerlan's influence. While some survivors of the bombing want to see Sarnayev executed, others want him put in prison for the rest of his life. They say endless appeals will just cause them to relive that day over and over. The judge instructed jurors to make a reasoned moral decision and not speculate on what any victim's family might wish. Do you want the jury to base the decisions on what they hear in that courtroom or what they're hearing outside of it? And historically, it's what happens in that court that's relevant and that's probative to the issue of death. Reporting in Boston, I'm Chris Welch.